Good afternoon, I'm Anaya. And I'm Karina. And we're here with your announcements. Attention all Writing Club members. Writing Club is canceled through the month of March and will resume after spring break. Mrs. Maceris apologizes and please see her if you have any questions. The book fair will run until Friday, March 22nd. It is open before and after school. Hi, I'm Craig and this is Fred and we have a book coming out. It's called Craig and Fred, uh, a U.S. Marine, a stray dog, and how they rescued each other. And Fred just wanted to say hi because he, he wants to get his credit as the co-author. He's he had a lot to do with it. I let him type on my computer and he got it kind of muddy, but it's fine. I met Fred in uh, Afghanistan, a place called Sangin District that's in Helmand Province. Uh, it's in the southern part of Afghanistan. In, in 2010, I was a U.S. Marine. Uh, we were sent there to help secure the area. The, um, the villagers needed some help with uh, a, a situation there. And, it was a pretty, a pretty violent place um, for a lot of reasons, and it wasn't the place that I thought I'd meet uh, my first dog, but, but here we are. That first day when I, I walked over to him, I, I saw him uh, kind of trot across the compound, and I just saw his tail bobbing, you know, and he looked, at first he looked like a big dog, because uh, he's got this big head and this big tail, and he's got this big chest, and his chest is puffed out, and I looked up over my computer, and He's got these legs, you know, and it's like he's two dogs long and one dog tall, you know, and he's just trotting across the compound. And I'm like, what is this guy? And so I got a little piece of beef jerky and I started walking over to him. And, and uh, as I got close, he started to wag his tail. And like little dust is kicking up around his tail as he's wagging it, just kind of looking at me. And I, I was stopped me right in my tracks. I was like, what does this dog have to wag his tail at? Absolutely nothing. I, I mean, he has never been shown any love or any compassion by a person. He's covered in bugs, he's hot and hungry, you know, but he's wagging his tail at me, you know, and he doesn't know me at all. You know, and, and that moment, uh, you know, really kind of describes and kind of summarizes Fred's philosophy and Fred's message to me and, and to, to everyone else is like, you know, no matter how, how miserable you might be or how hard things might be, it's, you can always wag your tail, you know, and you can always, you know, uh, fly that flag of, of, of being stubbornly positive and, and I mean, and it can change your world for the better. I mean, rescuing him ultimately wasn't wasn't that challenging. It was just the right thing to do. Um, but you know, the 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 things that he showed me and the lessons that he's taught me and how he's rescued me is uh, is still ongoing. It's just, I'm still learning from him every day, um, and it's kind of an immeasurable impact on on my life. March Madness is here. Start your voting now. Please turn your brackets in by March 20th. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to Xander with your weather. We want some heroes in our story. We need highlights for a nightlight. We need glory for a while. We want results. We want results. Hit our families, hit our folks, bombs bursting in the air. Oh, say, can you see America face? We share a pair of parents, took good care of the place. We just want narrators. What is up, my epic meme lords? It's weather time. Today will be cold with a high of a mere 43 and the low of an even more mere 27, and mostly cloudy. According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way bees should be able to fly, but they do anyways. <laughs>
games, and, and we're, we're here with your sports. sports. Michigan State won against Michigan to be the Big Ten champion. The Detroit Pistons won against the Raptors yesterday, 110 to 107. Last Thursday, the seventh grade volleyball team won all three games in their match against Oak Park. Top servers were Olivia Villa, Kate Gooch, Charlotte Graves, Riley Denehere, Cecilia Irwin, Emmy Walden, and Agatha Valka. The team plays against Hazel Park today. The eighth grade volleyball team got back on, on the winning ways, beating Oak Park three games to one. The scores of the games were 21 to 8, 21 to 21-13, and 21-7. Leading the way were both El Cazetta and Jade Scapiak with eight points each. Scarlett Van Every also had a good serving day with four points. Our next game is at Hazel Park today. The Roms wrestling team plays 12 wrestlers this past Saturday in the Comstock League Tournament. Royal Oak finished first as tournament champions, beating out Bloomfield Hills Middle School 327-211. Robbie Good. Theo first, Vinny Nicolau also first, Alden Tesh second, Matt Utter second, Hugo Million, Max Idema, Brady Bowman, Jalen Domes, Nate Williams, Luca Conflitti, and Kyle Graham. I'm Cameron. I'm James. And I'm that's news to me.